Ladies and gents, today is the day Apple will drop iOS 5 and with it comes a couple of new apps from Apple themselves. Airport Utility is one of them. It allows you to manage your Wi-Fi network, your airport base station, your airport express, your airport extreme, your time capsule right from your iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch. You can see graphical overviews of your Wi-Fi network, view and change network settings, restart the base station, access network information like IP addresses, DNS servers, etc., manage your DH DHCP reservations, tons of different things you can do on here that this is like a, a network person's dream. I mean, to have something like this where you can manage from anywhere, and it's really simple. As long as you're on the same Wi-Fi network, obviously, then you're going to be able to manage your airport extreme if you have one of those airport express etc so i'm downloading it now and let's just delve right into the settings for airport utility just open it up here and of course it's going to hopefully auto detect there it is there is my airport extreme so it auto detects the airport extreme on my network if i tap internet it just shows that it is connected and if i tap airport extreme it's going to ask me for my password so i'm going to go ahead and enter the password of my base station right now okay it's entered and now it's going to show my ip address my lan ip address my serial number my version um, and then i can go and edit those uh, those various options if i want to do that just tap edit and then i can change the name of the base station i can change the password i can manage the network as far as the security uh the network password i can hide the network if i want to stop displaying the uh, ssid if i want to do that i can Turn on guest networking if I want to do that. You know, Airport Extreme has a lot of different options that you can enable. And here's all my internet settings, my IP address, my subnet mask, router address. I can renew my DHCP lease directly from this. Uh, and advanced settings, yeah, my, I can set up NATing. I can file share if I want to do that. And then file sharing is currently enabled on my device, as it shows here. I can uh, enable access control, Wi-Fi settings, allow setup over WAN, show passwords, restart my base station, or even restore the defaults of my airport extreme. Folks, this is pretty impressive material that we have right here. I mean, you know, 10 years ago, I would have never imagined something like this, but now you can actually com configure your entire network directly from your iOS device. So folks, let me know what you think about the airport utility. Will you be using this? I certainly will. Let me know in the comment section below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlock.